Hello everybody and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. When we last left off, I galaxy brained this entire trial. Um, I have no clue if it's right or wrong, but I've galaxy brained it either way. But uh, let's continue with the investigation and we'll see where it gets us. But I have no idea where to go in the investigation now, so. Hey murderer, how is it going? I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. Hmm. But where has Kyoko been hiding all this time? I have no idea. Perhaps... perhaps she really is working for the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? Actually, that's a good question as well. If my theory is correct, then who's the mastermind's accomplice? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's Celeste. It could be Celeste. Yeah, it could very well be Celeste, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, that doesn't really fall into the realm of the trial anyway, so fine. Um, but you are quite protective of her, yes? That's because she's helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would do to earn your trust. Yeah. Maka, you got anything to say? Hmm, it's looking more and more like it really was a setup. Huh. So he agrees with me. Nice. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. I'd better leave her alone. Are we? What have you got to say? The There's no talking your way out of this one. You did it. Everyone knows it. Errol? I'm lost. Heck? I have no idea where to go if, the, if I'm not supposed to be talking to these guys. Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Tifumi. What? 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 Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it! Please. I did not! Uh, wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it! I know who did it! So then... You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over her alter ego, right? Please go the way I want you to. Please go the way I want you to. Please go the way I want you to. I'm at least 30% right. Which means alter ego and Orchi Hero must have done it. He went the way I wanted him to. Good man, Hero. Correct. <laughs> I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Uh, unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um... I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh. Uh, I know. That note. Note? Uh, um... Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out. So don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. <sighs> the last thing I remember is going to the rec room. That for some reason, I fell asleep. Yeah. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? Uh, really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. And they're doing an awful job of it, by the way. Like, seriously, did Celeste actually want to get found out? This is... This is awful. Like, this is a terrible plan in every way. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote a letter to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. I'm actually feeling kind of called out now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, is this the game telling me? Yeah. I like how everybody's assumption about this case is that hero is way too dumb to be the killer. <laughs> that just doesn't make sense in any way. But now I'm starting to think that, like, maybe I'm... Maybe my galaxy brain is too dumb? Like, maybe it's like 4D chess and Celeste isn't the one who did it? Like, it's just the game pulling the wool over my eyes? I had the exact same issue with the first one as well. Like, I galaxy brained that, but I was like, hang on, am I too smart? Did I figure this out? I couldn't have. No way, there has to be some kind of flip to this, there has to be some reverse. But no, there wasn't. And now I have the same worry. What, is there like a reverse to this? Is there a flip? I don't know. Well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Okay. Oh, they preyed on my desire to get out of here! They deceived me! 
I still don't buy it. Don't be mean. But you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my um pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it. Oh. Yeah, sure. We are playing 3D chess in here. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, what the heck? For serious? Yes, the hero's account has been added to a section of your handbook. Hmm. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero! Uh, no, it's like I said! Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why... Please. Wait, that's a false accusation! Someone help me! Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you! Ooh, <laughs> she's getting kinky now. I like it. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? Ah, uh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit and that note. Feet don't fail me now. I guess I'd better get back to guard duty. What are you even doing here, actually? I was gonna ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me, hmm. but if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a cat we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, would you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway... anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? No. No. What's up? I'm sure Hero is broke, but I doubt he killed for that. Yeah. Yeah. Hippies aren't really known for their love of money, I have to say. Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Thanks. Now then, shall we? I just okay. said no. So, Makoto, first, I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses. I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer that? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. But I guess we should head that way for now. Yeah, uh... I don't know. No reason not to uh, zoom me. Uh, third floor, and over here. Uh, that's the stairs, which means it's over this way. What kind of school has purple corridors? I like it, but it's not very school-like, I, I must say. Excuse me. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Kifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. But only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. It's let's kill him. That's my big question. It's let's kill him. Hmm. Can I see anything new? The biggest problem I have right now is how the kill was able to move if I'm if he's a massive corpse. Yeah, that's not my problem anymore. Uh, yes. I don't think he killed, yeah, but... When he found his body in the nurse's office, that's the bloody outer spotless. Yes, it does. Okay, so I can't... I see. Yeah. Makoto, I found something. You did. Okay. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? I'd be like, show me where the bodies are. I don't think anybody would mind another one to the pile. <laughs> you remember the wristwatch Tuck always wore in his left hand? He did? Ooh. Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch. So then. Take a look. 
It's broken, but you can see the hands aren't moving, right? Okay, so it's either half twelve. No, it's not. Six o'clock. Just after six o'clock. Just after six o'clock. So that was. I'm trying to get the. It was eight o'clock when everybody was supposed to go to the dining room. Um, something happened at seven o'clock as well, didn't it? What was that? I don't remember. Um. Oh, that's when Celeste was supposed to have uh, been bonked on the head, right? Uh, you can see the hands aren't moving, right? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6? That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little bro boys and girls. In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. Broken wish wristwatch has been added to the truth bull section. However... And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. It, he appears to be gripping something. No, you're right. There's something white in there. Makoto, can you try and pry it out? Me? Because rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Okay. What? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. I rigor mortis uh, usually takes about three hours to set in. I learned that from uh, Ace Attorney Chronicles, which is I was trying to remember where I learned that little tidbit. Um, I learned it recently, too. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice-cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A uh, piece of paper? Hey. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then... Let's check if Fumi's buddy now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. Taka's scrap of paper. Okay. Let's. So, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper. That's right. If Fumi had it hidden on him. Hidden. Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see. In his pants. Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. I hey. have several ideas, but... Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like... It better be important, Hifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. Oh, boy. There you go. Let's meet in the equipment room. A note! I found a hole. Maybe we can use to escape. Let's meet in the equipment room. Where did Hero say... Here, where did... Hero was sent to the rec room. Actually, that's a good question. Why was Hero sent to the rec room, but then stuffed into a locker... Oh, it, that was at 1 o'clock, though. This is at 6 a.m. But his was at, like, 1 or 2 o'clock, so that's when they did that. Oh, and then I guess they wouldn't have needed a mannequin or something. Imagine Buddy checking Hifumi for nothing. Yeah. Um, did I, did I, I can hardly talk, honestly. Um, I'm not, I'm not that bad, believe me, but, uh, anyway. So, so that's when they did it. They didn't do it days in advance. They did it that night at 1 a.m. And this is from Taka's body. Because he was in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So, when they took that picture, 
they then lifted him out of the rec room and down and down the stairs to the pool just to stuff him in a locker weird why didn't they just do it in the pool room then i don't know um yeah let's meet the crew. so that sounds very familiar that's it it's the same thing hero said then he was telling us the truth however although it's not exactly the same is it um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found the whole... Yeah. I saw this at 1 a.m. Yep. The time is different. Hiro told us that his note said to meet at 1 a.m. But the note they wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? It wasn't Hifumi. Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to part of it being ripped? Um, could you maybe explain it a little more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I- I have no idea. So then. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. The note of whom he had. Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. Though the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Not that they not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. A handbook may play a role? Why would a handbook play a role? I don't know. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. E-handbook has been added to triple the section of your handbook. Okay, what the hell does that say then? Uh, e-handbook. Each student has their own e-handbook, which also has a card key. The owner's name is displayed each time the handbook is booted up. It is believed that no handbooks were involved in carrying out the murders this time. Odd. Very odd, but okay. Um. Ping pong. Nighttime? He was wearing a suit he couldn't have put it on by himself. And for the fact that he was not articulated enough. Are you pumped? It's safe it's even without that now. For the class trial to begin. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. That it's time yeah, it's time for the class trial to begin. Exactly, exactly firewall. Like it does like it doesn't make sense. He's obviously being set up. Even if I am completely wrong about Celeste and Hifumi and it was actually Sakura and Aoi in some weird way. Even if I'm completely wrong about everything, it doesn't make sense to make Hero the scapegoat in that way because it it basically gave him the most perfect alibi you could ever ask for. Where were you at the time of the murder? Oh, I was locked in a locker I couldn't open from the inside, while I was also locked inside a suit of armor, which I also couldn't unlock from the inside. <laughs> like, he, 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 the last person on earth that could cause this, these, this death, these deaths, whatever, is Hero. It's the most bizarre thing ever. I don't understand that. That's very stupid. But okay. Uh, it's time for the class trial like to begin. Like a bright burst of fireworks. Like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. Mm. <laughs> See you soon. Oh dear. Well, it would seem it's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where an, our investigation comes to an end. Oh, I wrote by myself. Hmm? Well, I'm by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I never thought that you were hero, Firewall. If anything, you're psycho. Um. <laughs> Uh, that's very investigation. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? 
Well, we'd better get going. Uh, okay. Oh boy. Here we go. This door, once again. Alright, I'm gonna talk to everybody here. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. No Hifumi, interestingly. Chainsaw set. <laughs> uh, and as soon as we were all there. Monokuma appears! Hello! Oh, hello, hello! He's multiplied. Wrong. Nope, not multiplication. It just looks that way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've multiplied. Hey, <laughs> can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? <sighs> can we just get on the elevator already? Yes, Boy. please. You're not playing along! Along, along. Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. Hey! Hey! And if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain trainer! Elevator. I love your eyes acting. Aw, oh, thank you! Thank you, Yukoi. That, uh, uh, oh. Oh, I don't think anybody said that yet. Oh, thank you. I'm blushing. I'll see you guys down there! Let's go. Okay then, shall we? Um, excuse me. Uh, I just, uh, sorry, I just had something, um, uh, uh, something disgusting appear in my chat. I just wish to take care of really quickly. Uh, you are now banned. Thank you. Go away. Please never dock on my door again. I really need to get a chatbot or something. Let's do this. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Firewall. <laughs> now I'm all giddy. <laughs> um. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, okay then. Shall we? Please. Oh, hold on. I'm not mentally prepared yet. What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already. I didn't do it for serious. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume, or the note? Um, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. Hey. This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yes, <laughs> so funny. Uh. Man, you have nothing to be worried about. He really doesn't. <laughs> oh, thanks, Yukoi. Really appreciate it. Hey, y Yukoi, how, how do you want me to say your name, actually? Uh, y is it Yukoi? Yukoi Mata Suffers? Or Yukoi? Uh, let, let me know. Uh, yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to do it. Oh, who are you doing it with? I can't let whoever killed him fool me and talk get away with it. For everyone who's still alive, and for the two that lost their lives. Well, I think one of them was a ritual sacrifice, but, uh, yeah. The one who killed Tafumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Someone right here. Yes, literally, right here. How are you doing? <laughs> it would appear the culprit has been confirmed. This trial will be over in no time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, Yuko is okay. In you, Yukiko. Very good, basically. Uh, 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 oh. Okay. I mean, it's kind of your preference, but. Uh. Uh, Yukiko. Let's go with Yukiko. Yukiko is, uh, actually one of my favorite characters in Persona 4. I really like her. I think a lot of people don't like her, uh, for some reason. Because she's kind of this subdu subdued kind of character. But uh, I, re I really like how she's like subdued, but there's fire within. And that and that's the why she that's why she uses a fire persona. Uh, anyway, sorry, sidetracked. Um, hey, well, hey, Gamatech! How's it going, buddy? Wow, you are very late. <laughs> I am actually just about to end. <laughs> the story begins when we get down there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, please choose yourself when you get the chance in the cross drive. It's funny. <laughs> oh, dear. oh well. Yeah, you can always catch the VOD on YouTube, Gam Attack, if you really want to. It's all good. Uh, it wasn't me. You gotta believe me. 
Yeah, I I really do. I really yes, do. Yes. Come on, Big Mac. Let's do it. I should make her voice I should really make her voice higher. Come on, Big Mac. Let's do it. Are you listening? Wait till we get to the courtroom to begin your arguing. Are we? Just the worst. Let's hurry up and go so we can make Hero pay for his crimes. Sakura? Damn. I don't like Monokuma's carefree attitude. Yeah. I don't think anybody would. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard... Ding ding! All aboard the main train! The doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. What are we down to now? Nine? Three, six... Eight! Oh. Yeesh. What's your, far what's your favorite character in the game so far? Um... Genocide Jill. Genocide Jill is just hilarious. I love her. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. Let's, let's hear a smoke some of Cusco's poison. Yes, the poison for Cusco. Yes. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. Oh boy. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator doors slid open. Opening up onto a cruel fate. Was there a dead body in here? <laughs> when I see all of you gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just the worst. Only because of you. Ugh. Why Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? Wah -wah? Mm. Wah -wah? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Yeah. Don't crush me. Of course I'm going to start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the action-packed class trial after this commercial break. Yeah. I'd never hold on out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment. A deadly... Yeah, he really likes saying deadly. A deadly class trial. Yes, I will save my progress. Thank you. Well, I'm afraid that Monoku uh, Monokuma may not be that harsh, but I am. Thank you very much for joining me, YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I hope you have a wonderful day, and come back next time for the class trial. See you then.